Hi guys, in this video, I'm going to grab a topic that Joe was discussing recently about how many <laughs> hours per day we waste, uh, you know, and how that translates into losing money, right? So he suggested that uh, I create kind of like a little calculator so that I tell how many, how much I get paid per hour, what is my wage, and uh, how many hours a day I waste and that it would tell me automatically how much I waste per day, per week, per month, and per year, right? It is a simple calculation, but what I'm going to try to demonstrate here is how I would go about and create kind of like a little GUI for that. Um, and in this particular instance, uh, just remember, there are several ways of doing the same things. Uh, I will demonstrate how I would go about creating the logic first and then the GUI. There are certain situations in which you don't know how many features a program might have. So I would start with the GUI and see, uh, you know, oh, I need a button for this. Oh, so that might be a function. Okay, how about this? Oh, I need another thing for that. So I have the GUI to guide about what functions I would need. But in this case, I would go the other way around because I know that is just simple math, certain calculations that I'm going to do, and I just want to display them. So I know what the logic is. I don't need many functions. So in that case, I would go with the logic first and then the GUI. So let's start with some variables. The first one that I would actually need is a wage. And let's say a wage goes about, I don't know, 40 an hour, doesn't matter. And uh, of course, I need to know how many hours I wasted, right? Hours wasted, let's say four hours a day doing nothing, whatever it is. So let's start with an output debug here. And uh, let's go ahead and we're talking about money now. So uh, I'm going to be talking about how many, uh, how much money I wasted in a day. So money wasted a day, right? So that would be my wage multiplied by the hours wasted, right? Very simple there. Now let's go with the next one. We're going to be talking about now, if that was a day, now let's go per week. Money wasted per week, right? That would be my money wasted per day multiplied by how many days I work a week. Let's say five days a week, right? So that would make sense. Output debug. Now this time I'm going to be money wasted per month. That would be my money wasted per week multiplied by, you know, four weeks. That makes the month. And the same, I'm going to do the same for money wasted per year. Right, and that would be my money wasted per month, money wasted per month, multiplied by 12. So as I mentioned, it is very, a uh, very simple calculation going on here. I'm just gonna be multiplying some stuff. And if I run this, I should get a few values. And just by wasting four hours a day, when you have this particular wage, you're wasting about $38,000 a year, which is a lot of money, okay? So, uh, you should keep your wasted time, your wasting time in check, right? So as you can tell, the calculations is not the hard part. Now let's go ahead and translate the, this into a GUI. So first of all, these two things are inputs. This is what the user is going to be adding up. So let's go ahead and create two edit boxes. So GUI add, and we're going to add an edit box that goes ahead and has a variable, which is the wage. And I'm going to start at zero. And I'm going to set a little width for that, at least 50. And I'm going to have a second GUI that is going to be also for uh, hours wasted. Right? Now, those two GUIs, let's go ahead and just show it. GUI show. See what we got. I got two boxes here, which is good. That looks good. And I want to add two kind of like uh, captions to them, like add here, and I'm going to say text this time. And the text that I'm going to add, I want it to be more or less the same width. But this time, I'm just going to say uh, wage here. And down here, I'm going to have hours wasted. Let's see if that works, because having a width of 30, sorry, of 50 might not work for hours wasted. Yeah, that's what I thought. And I'm very used to forcing expressions. So that's the reason why those quotation marks are there. So let's go ahead and set the values for this a little bit 
higher. Let's do 100. Let's see what happens there. Yeah, not great, but not bad. So now here we go with the next part. So I do have my input. Now I do need my output. So I usually divide stuff into logical units just for my sanity sometimes when I try to work with many complex squeeze, I do this. But my output here now is going to be, I'm going to add, and these are just going to be text. So I'm not going to do like very complicated stuff here. And I'm going to set the width to 100 as well. Uh, probably it will need a higher level. You will notice what I mean later on. But basically, I'm going to start with 100 and later on I will try to fix it if I need to. Um, the width is going to be 100, and I'm going to just say uh, wasted per day, for example. And I'm going to have a tab, and I'm going to be using tabs because I want my my uh, data to be kind of like a little bit aligned. And I'm going to start at zero for all of them. So wasted per day, wasted per uh, week and wasted per month, wasted per year. That should get us, gets us to a little bit of a start here. Okay, so I'm having a little bit of an issue with the width. So let's make this a little bit bigger, 150. Let's see, a little bit better, but not enough. Yeah, well, too far away, I would assume. So let's, those tabs, let's convert them to only one tab. And then we could go back a little bit in that one. There we go. That looks okay-ish. Now that I have that, and now that I have kind of like how the GUI is going to be displayed, I'm going to return here. And what I want to do is that my script should react to what the user is typing. The way how I'm going to do that is via a G label. So what I'm going to do is for these two here, I'm going to use the same G label. I'm going to use calculate as a label. And in this case, I'm just going to use a function. And I have a snippet for that G function that creates the parameters for a G label function. Those are the things that is going to be receiving, you can find those in the documentation about what are the parameters for that. But as soon as I get this, you know, I should be able to, uh, as soon as you type something here, it would go ahead and call this function. And I could just go ahead and do a tooltip here and say one sleep 500 tooltip. And that should at least allow me to test it. So I gotta go ahead to this type something in, and I should get a tooltip whenever I type here or here. That is okay. So that is working as expected. Now, there's a few things that we do. Whenever you're dealing with uh, 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 this type of code, like you have a GUI, if you want to access information inside a function, the main way of doing this is using GUI submit so you could use GUI, submit, and usually a no hide if you don't want to hide the GUI. And that would tell the GUI to save all the variables into their assigned variable names, right? The only problem with this approach is that now I would have to tell the GUI that these two variables are global. Because if not, I will not be able to access their information. If I don't have the global here, if I don't tell them that those two variables are global, and I try to see, like, say, for example, tooltip wage, it's going to come in empty. That's what I think is going to happen because that variable is a local variable inside the function. And if I say one here, one, nothing happens. Notice that the tooltip does not come show up. I know that the tooltip was showing up previously, but now it's not doing it. And that is because this variable is local and it's empty. That's the reason why the tooltip is not there. Now, if I tell the 
uh, script that those functions, uh, those variables are uh, right now global, now I will be able to access the information for them. That's the reason why you have to set the global uh, tag in here, telling them that those two variables are global. I usually do not like accessing global variables like this. So there's another way of doing this, and this is the one that I'm going to be using, which is using the GUI control get. And this usually allows me to tell our hotkey to get a variable. It doesn't matter where it is uh, for, from the GUI, for example, from, from any GUI uh, and store it. So if you use this version, now I am not accessing global variables. And second of all, it allows me to just get the information that I want. Okay. So if I do not need to get this variable, if I just need to get one variable from the GUI, I can just simply get that one variable and that's it. Now, you notice that the command has a few parameters. So if you say GUI control get, it tells you what the output var is, the subcommand if you want to do some things, and the control ID. So usually you would have to specify the control ID. But if the name of the variable is the same as the control ID. If you have the same for the output variable and the control ID, you just need to put that like that. So that's very convenient. Now I have my two um, uh, variables here. And what I'm going to do now is that I'm going to grab all of this here. Oh, copy it, paste it. And I'm going to delete a whole the previous part. Because what I want to do is to use the GUI control command, which allows me to set text or put information into a control. Now it has three parameters. The last parameter is the text, and I didn't want to copy one by one, so that's the reason why I did that. But the sub command here, if I make it blank, is to tell the control to get new text. The only thing that I will need to change now is the control ID for each of the ones that I want to set the text. So I'm going to delete all of this like this. So now for each of these guys, I have to set a variable. That way I will be able to access or set information to them. All of them starts with a V because I'm setting a variable. And for this one is wasted per day. And for the other ones is wasted per week. And this one is going to be wasted per month. And so is this one wasted per year. Let's go ahead and copy that up, up to here. And now I just have to paste it here. So I just created my, my uh, code that would put information into those controls. That's it. That's what I'm trying to do. Now, the information that I'm going to be adding, these zeros here are the ones that I want to change. So let's go ahead and remove those. And here I'm forcing an expression because I'm going to grab the expressions that I already have up here. Cut this up, set it up in here. And again, I know that those calculations work. So everything should be working already. Let me just go ahead and remove those guys. I do not need to add any variables because you're going to set them up on the uh, GUI. And that should be all. Let's say, let's take a look at how that looks. So if I go ahead and say that my wage is one, everything should stay in zero because one times zero is zero. But if I say four here, I should get a calculation going on for all my other variables. So let's say that I have a $40 wage and a four hour wasted. Now notice that one of them just disappeared. The reason for this is because the size of the GUI, or at least the control itself, is too small to show the whole uh, information. 
So that is one of the things that you have to keep in mind whenever you're setting text to a control like this. You always need to um, either have a size that handles that data or after you set the data in the control, you just move it and make it a little bit wider if you want. Uh, I'm just going to go ahead and add some width to this. Let's make it 200 and see how that looks. So if I say $40 an hour and I say four hours, I should get the correct amount. And, and again, if you want to see what is going on, let's just set a border to all of them so you could see clearly what is going on. So I've say 30, uh, four, this is that. But if I had the, the other width, which was width 150, you will notice that when I go ahead and say four, so let's say 40 times four, Notice that the width is cut right here. So the, the text is a little bit longer than the control. And that is what is going on. So keep those in mind. Just do this and you should be good to go. 43. There you go. So again, we just made a very quick calculator for how many, uh, what is your, uh, how much money you're wasting, uh, per day, week, month, and year. And it was a very quick way of doing a little GUI and how I would go about it. So I hope that you found this a little bit interesting and you learned a few things from that. And yeah, I will see you in the next video.